Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate you guys tuning in to see what vehicles I can do for you guys each and every time. Today I got a beast. I got a 2020 Ford F-150 Raptor. I'm gonna show you guys a, a quick overview of the interior and the exterior and take it on a test drive. Let's get into the review. Now I'm gonna start this video off by talking about some differences that you see from the regular F-150 from the Raptor. Obviously, the first thing you could tell is it's just an overall wider vehicle. Overall width is going to be just under 80 inches, 79.9 to be exact. That's if you don't count the mirrors. It's definitely a more aggressive looking vehicle in my opinion. Just look at it. I do like how Ford here is spelt out all the way, this, which is part of a package. I think it's the 802A luxury package, which costs around $10,000, which majority of people get that when it comes to buying a Raptor. Come up to the headlights, you can just see here, it kind of still has that traditional headlights that you get from the regular F-150, but these are a little bit more bigger, they're a little bit wider. You got LED, uh, high, low beam and high beam down here. Unfortunately, your turn signal here is incandescent. I do like how the daytime run light is a kind of an amberish color that, that sits well in my opinion. Also up here for your uh, Raptor kind of hood accents decal, it's a $900 option. There's one on the side that gets you, uh, that, show, that spells out Raptor, that's about $1,000, but we get to that once we get up to the side profile. But, but overall, you, you know, I do like how it looks. It is very aggressive. It's definitely gonna stand out when you're driving this thing on the road. Also, you get a front facing camera here with a washer, because this vehicle does have 360 camera. It's part of that 802A package. You got some front tow hooks here. This is all steel. I, li I like how this is steel. Also, you got some, some air vents here to allow some cooling because this vehicle does have a 3.5 liter twin turbo, so cool the engine down. Now, coming over to the side profile, you can see here, it definitely stands out even more. Uh, as far as proportions goes, your overall length is going to be 231 inches long. That's with the 5.5 five bed. Uh, there is an optional 6.5 bed, I believe, that scratches out the overall length, but not the wheelbase. Speaking of wheelbase, you do get a, uh, for your wheelbase, 145 inches long, which is, which is quite big, in my opinion, with the super with the Super Crew configuration. Also, uh, the vehicle, you can get it in a regular cab, and I believe also a, a double cab, too, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, as far as features go, you do get some LED lighting here on your uh, mirrors here. Uh, you do get a running board for your ground, ground clearance. is gonna be 9.4 inches, so that running boards will help. The running boards here are made out of cast aluminum, which is nice, with the nice Raptor uh, decal there. Uh, I, I don't like how they got this little, this is plastic cladding there. I wish they, I kind of wish they would have kind of made it body colored. Uh, I'm not sure if that's an option. Uh, maybe it is, but a lot of you guys probably be getting that painted anyways. Coming up to the wheels. Now, these are some 17 inch wheels, but I think it fits perfectly with this vehicle. I, I think some vehicles they offer like 20 inch wheels. I don't recommend getting that. Um, this here is perfect. Uh, there's an optional uh, 17 inch forged aluminum wheel This costs about $1,900. It gives you a different overall pa pattern. But taking a look at the pattern here, uh, I think it looks okay. Um, my biggest pet peeve is this is going to be hard to clean once it gets dirty. Obviously, this is not going to be hard to clean. As far as your tires go, it's going to be a 315 70 series tire, which is just massive. Uh, they're not staggered, obviously. You won't see stacker tires back here. But I think it fits really well with this vehicle. Like I said, you get more of that side lighting over here. These are some functional air vents to help cool off that powerful engine. Also over here, you do get something that's patented by Ford that no other vehicle is offering. It's that little keypad here. I, I use it in my Ford vehicle that I have. Uh, you, basically, you can just unlock the car by entering the pad code over there. Coming over to the fuel tank, it is, uh, you can open from the outside. It's capitalist, which I'm in love with. I believe it's a 36 gallon fuel tank. We'll go with fuel economy once I get to the engine. This is that Raptor logo that I was telling you about here. It's a $1,000 option. I think you can go without it, but if you like that branding on there, go right ahead. 
and you get an independent front suspension, uh, electronic locking rear differential. I believe it's a 4.1, 4.10 4 locking differential. Also in the rear, you do get some high output live Fox shocks is definitely going to make your ride quality a lot better when you're driving this thing and you're taking it off road. Come to the rear profile. You can see here it even stands out even more. I do like how you got the Ford sign here, which is part of the 802, I'm sorry, 802 a package, your Ford F-150 badging with the, with the, with the Raptor symbol here. Also over here, you look at your tail lights. So like I said, it still has that traditional F Ford F-150 tail lights here, LED, um, brake lights, even for all around. This, this, come, this houses your blind spot radar right there. I do like how this is, oh, actually it's not steel. I wish this was steel because a lot of people are gonna be stepping on that. You got some, some rear tow hooks there. Luckily the, the bed here is, is damp and it's power control. Um, I do recommend getting the, the bed spraying liner. It's kind of hard to believe a lot of people wouldn't get it. It's only $600 for the tough spray. Sorry, sorry for the tough bed. There is one that does a plastic one for like $300. I, do, I don't recommend getting that. I would recommend getting the tough bed spray. As far as features inside the bed, uh, just a button over here you can press to light up your LED lighting. So that's pretty nice. It even lights up the lights up there. I believe that's a package you can get to have a camera for your bed, but don't quote me on that. Just like I showed you guys in my 250 video, um, to get up in here for short people or just anybody in general, because this vehicle does have a relatively high ground clearance, you can just let that out and let this out here. And it easily just lets you get up in here. All you gotta do is step up here and you, easy, you can easily just get up in there. To fold it down, all you gotta do is just press this down and slide this back up. Oops, I'm tripping. You gotta push this down first, then push this down to get up in there and just goes back up in here with ease. So I think the Ford is one of the ones I like the most when it comes to designing their little multifunctional tailgate, especially the ones that I've tested. One thing I did forget to mention, as far as dimensions goes for your 5.5 bed, you get around 56 cubic feet of space back there. On the 6.5 bed obviously will offer more cargo room. Um, you also get some nice little cargo hooks in there to help you out when it comes to securing your items back there. Stepping into this Raptor, even tells you how to unlock it right there. So to lock it, all you got to do is press that button there. There's a sensor on the back <clears throat> to unlock it. It opens right up. Now, first impressions of this interior. Wow, my Tesla does have the optional, uh, I think it's the Ford Raptor interior, uh, blue interior package, which is like $2,400. Also, it has the $1,000 carbon fiber package, which turns the, gives you carbon fiber accents on the shifter there, even a little, uh, right there on the little um, sliding thing there, <laughs> even on the door. Also with the interior package, gives you some nice little blue material on the seats. Uh, the, I do like the Ford Raptor signs there, even some, little, uh, some blue material here, I think it's suede. Uh, some blue, some, uh, some exit stitching there, even on the steering wheel up here on the dash, even comes out to the door. I do like you got the four, the, you got a four performance little plaque there. That's also nice. Talk about materials. This is some nice soft touch material. The little teardrop here. What this does is it's supposed to help you have better visibility for the mirror. Um, I think if, if they would have just leveled out, I think it would have just still been fine. This is nice soft touch material here. Like I said, this is some carbon fiber. Down here is just your regular hard touch plastic. Which I wish they would have just made this. Also, some little. Some, some, I wish they would have stitched that, uh, considering the price of this vehicle. You do get three-person memory seating. Your window switches is your standard window switch that you get in, inside any four product. Your seats are ten-way adjustable. Uh, ten-way adjustable for I think both sides actually. And the seats are nice and bolstered, which I, I'm very in love with. I like. I do like how they leather here with some suede on the tower um, finish there. But, but let's go ahead and step up in here because it's kind of loud out here. All right, so inside here. Let's go ahead and close this door. For those of you short, the, the running boards do help. Also, you got a nice grab handle here. They also help. But you guys know how to turn on the car, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. There's not really much of a difference that you get from other Ford trucks and uh, other Ford uh, SUVs, especially the Expedition and, like I said, that 250 that I did. But you see here your typical steering wheel, same one that I showed you on the 
F250. It's leather wrap though. It's nice with some nice uh, red stitching there. And here it gives you a nice Raptor logo. It feels nice in your hands. It's also power tilting and telescoping, so that's also a nice function. Some huge paddle shifters here. They're made out of aluminum. Kind of wish they were mounted to the column instead of the steering wheel because when you turn the steering wheel, the way you won't try to lose, you won't lose track of them. Uh, as far as your buttons go, this controls your adaptive cruise control right there, which the vehicle is equipped with. Uh, all your cruise control buttons here. Use this button here to control your seven-inch LCD screen in there. This controls all your safety features, as far as um, well, this does control your safety, your steering assist, and this controls the volume buttons and answer phone calls over there. As you can see here, I did say you do get the uh, seven-inch LCD screen. The gauges here are are, are are custom to the Raptor. They they turn they are red, um, but you can scroll through your settings by using uh, this thing over here on your LCD screen. Shows you your trip fuel, uh, your truck info, your, your towing status, your, uh, your off-road status. In your settings you can set your all your um, safety features there you were across so your cross traffic alert your driver alert you were park a this is important here when you're towing your trailer blind spot turn it on your pre-collision uh, you can um, your cruise control you can set favorites by doing that over here it also shows you what type of PSI how much PSI you're getting for your turbo your fuel economy I'm sorry your fuel range right there as far as materials go in here this is all soft this is all soft um materials there it's, it's just some faux stitching it's not real stitching up there um this is plastic with some more storage in there this is nice uh leather stitch over there i do like how you got the the blue accent stitching for that package there you do get some carbon fiber trim under there this, this is your glove box it's like two-way storage you got the little slot right here and down there you got some more storage this part here is not really lying with anything it's just kind of hard plastic down there but it's a decent um size this is going to be your standard eight inch uh sync 3 infotainment screen there uh you guys seen it in my f250 video but if you haven't i'll go through a quick run around get your settings here you can see it does have apple carplay android auto uh, you, you do get wi-fi in here your four pass connect over here you can see your navigation it looks all right um they kind of beefed it up for the 2020 year uh, you can zoom in and out and see that it shows pretty nice graphics in my opinion uh, so i think it's aged pretty well when it comes to because this was introduced on the 2018 model year before it's the audio settings here you can see that your climate settings over here you know you got dual person you got dual climate control click on menu this is how you access your uh, heated steering wheel up here you control you turn off your automatic stop stop this is i'm sorry your automatic start stop uh, you press this button you can see your camera you do get 360 camera like i said it's part of the 802a package worth ten thousand uh, dollars this, this controls all your settings for your four wheel drive system two high four auto four high four low this is your trailer backup um buttons here and you got your trailer brake buttons right down there all this controls your uh, audio controls you can heat it and cool seats not no massage and function which i wish they had massaging but hey that's you made a pickup truck no one's trying to look for luxury like that and the shifter here this controls your 10-speed automatic transmission so it's nice it's pretty nice and sturdy in my opinion um this controls your lane keep assist over here so you can turn that on and off there two cup holders uh, you let this back here i'll turn these heated seats off no wireless phone charger down there, which I'm kind of disappointed. Two USB ports. Even this is nice and softly padded. Flip it up, you got a nice storage. It's huge in there with a corn slot. Let's see, is there any USB ports down there? You get a 12 volt down there, so that's nice. Surprisingly, you don't get a sunroof in here. I think mine isn't equipped with it, or I'm not sure you come with it. It comes with it all. I, def I definitely think a panoramic sunroof in here would be definitely lovely in here, in my opinion. You also get some decent storage down here so that's also nice it's even on the other side so i mean i'm liking how the interior looks but i just i don't like how ford doesn't really differentiate between their products but now let's get into that rear seat so we can see what that's like step into the back seat of the raptor and this is where a lot of families are switching the trucks because they're practical um, a lot of space back here four stands you get around 43.6 inches of leg room which is a little less than what you got in the ram it's about 45 but two inches anything over 40 inches is a lot of leg room in my opinion so um let's step up in here 
as you can see i was just sitting in this seat up there stop touching it stop stop i was just sitting in that seat in the front and i have more than enough leg room back here so anyone over six feet tall you'll be able to fit back here with these as you can see, I have my kids car seating here. That's what I was saying when I'm talking about this vehicle is very practical because you can sit um, infants in here and also toddlers in which their car seat because I have a pretty good big car seat. Uh, as far as features go, you get some LED lighting up there. This folds down to give you a nice little armrest and also two cup holders. Over here, you get two air conditioner vents with two cup holders up there. Uh, you got a 12 volt with two USBs and a 110 volt down there. Uh, surprisingly, these are not heated back here. I'm kind of disappointed with that. Uh, two map pockets. The floor is, is flat. So you'll be able to sit uh, three feet back here with ease. Uh, as far as storage goes, ugh. you can't just let this, you can't just lift this up and you get some storage. It's actually kind of small. Wow, I'm kind of surprised with that. But you get some storage underneath there. Even the other side lifts up as well. Pull that back down. You know, your power, uh, you do get a power rear sliding glass back there. I forgot to show you that guys up there in the front. But it's also part of that 802 way package. Now underneath the hood of the 2020 Ford Raptor, you find an engine that's very familiar. It's going to be that 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 that's producing 450 horsepower and 510 pound feet of torque. It's the same engine that's inside of the Lincoln Navigator and also the Ford Expedition, but this one produces a little bit more power than the Ford Expedition. Fuel economy is going to range between 15 the city, 18 in the highway, and it all goes out through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, let's get this thing out on the road so we can see what it drives like. I'm really anxious to see what this engine feels like, 450 horsepower. Now, the 10-speed automatic transmission is a very good transmission. Um, I love, I love when uh, Ford came out with that. Okay, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. Man, I barely feel the transmission shifting actually. So that's also good, that's also very good. As far as visibility goes, um, you're in this truck, so trucks have very good commanding views of the road. These mirrors are huge. I have no problem seeing out of those. Uh, the, rear, the, rear, the rear view is also nice. The steering wheel feels really nice in my hands. These seats are comfortable. Um, I would imagine if someone is a little bit smaller, uh, they would feel the seats are a little too big. These seats feel really good to me. But this... Whew, Much road noise, anything else. I don't hear any wind noise. Um, 
definitely no road noise from the tires. So I'm very impressed with that. One thing I kind of wish it did have was, I know it has blind spot, but I do like the little extra mirror that you get in some of these other bigger trucks. Uh, I think you get it on the actual towing mirrors actually. So I kind of wish that was actually on here. As far as the steering goes, it's actually quite responsive. Uh, so I'm impressed with that. You know, I'm sitting here in a red light and the engine just shut off. I don't know how I feel about the automatic start stop function. Uh, it says it saves your fuel economy. I just find it to be quite annoying for my personal preference. Uh, I talked to other people, they actually love it. Um, one of my guys, one of my friends with he just actually brags to me about it. <laughs> okay, bro. But just by me driving so far, I've had about at least seven people look at me. One person even gave me a thumbs up. Like I, so like I said when I was talking about the front, it's definitely gonna stand out on the road. Those of you who really like stuff like that, this is the vehicle for you. All right, for the overall summary of this 2024 Raptor, I think it's one bold, aggressive looking vehicle. It's gonna stand out on the road when you're driving it. Has that nice engine that produces 450 horsepower and gives you that 510 pound feet of torque. And the interior has its ups and downs about it, you know, in my opinion. But if this is something that you're looking forward to having in your driveway, how much is it going to cost you? Now, the base for a Raptor is going to cost start around $56,000. But I do have around $16,000 in option, excluding the uh, $1,600 destination charge that brings this thing up to about $74,000. You know, it, it is kind of pricey when it comes to it. I know if I had the money, I think I would buy it. But obviously, I can't afford it. I can't afford that. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment and leave any criticism you may like, and I'll catch you on the next one. If you exclude the, the mirrors, which is just... What are you doing? You gotta, you gotta sit down. Now, if you guys like this video and you wanna see more of this, please, please hit that subscribe button like and comment and leave and leave any criticism that you may please if you guys like this video and you want to see more of it, if you guys like this video and you want to see more of it please hit that like comment if you guys oh my god Demarion back up in here with ease so I think it flows that's a pooper You got LED, um, you got LED low and high beam headlights. So these, these, you got, you got LED low beam, high beam. Um, you got LED low. You got LED. You can see I have my kids car seat in here. Um, Junior, get your foot off that. Get your foot down. Junior, take your foot down. You can, also, you got an independent rear. <coughs> also, you got an independent rear. Um, also, you get an independent rear suspension. I keep saying rear. God damn. Obviously, you. And here comes a car. Sorry. Are you good? Sure. You're good. Go out there. <clears throat> now, what was I? Coming up.